Hey there, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on ClickOrlando.com. I'm News 6 meteorologist Samara Kokinas. A good amount of dry air still around central Florida allowed for rain chances to be very limited, even though some places did get some rain. It really didn't help in terms of how much we are in the deficit. You can see most of central Florida in the red tonight. Sanford and Leesburg are the only ones above or right up where they should be for this time of year. So we definitely could use a little bit more rain than what we've been getting. And it doesn't look too promising this evening as we look ahead and start the clock at seven. It looks like a great night to be out and about for sure, like in the backyard, enjoying a nice grill and chill type of evening. Throughout the overnight hours, I think we could have a few stray sprinkles of rain. I'm not talking about heavy rain until maybe possibly near the Brevard County coastline early tomorrow morning to start the day. But throughout the day, another day for one of those hit or miss showers. And I mean, the majority of it should be light to moderate rain as it passes through and makes its way inland. Your overnight low will hit 71 under partly cloudy skies with a few sprinkles. Then as we head through the day tomorrow, we heat up to 87 with a light east to northeast wind. Your rain chance at 20%. Let's get some results and show your pinpoint accurate seven day forecast. So after we get through Columbus Day, you'll notice Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, it just gets a little bit warmer each day, doesn't it? 90 degrees by midweek. We'll hold there for a day or so before dropping back to the upper 80s as we head into next weekend. That's your pinpoint accurate forecast. Thanks for logging on. You're now up to date.